I had this picture that I took on my cell phone that was just of the fresh snow coverage of the river behind my house, and it was beautiful, so I had taken a picture the winter before just with my cell phone, and my uh, friend Trent Arant, he had put up a picture around like the same time that was of, it was a tree that's around where he lives, and he put a picture up and then a year later of the same tree, so tried to match the picture as best as he could, and I thought it was a cool transition, so I was like, all right, I want to do that, but with this other picture of, of where I'm from. So after that, that's all the nature, like progression in my photography, I always feel it comes from when I am at home, though. My name's Brett Miller, I'm from Bondsville, Massachusetts, Western Mass, not near Boston. I'm uh, 22 years young. I've been uh, doing photography for about two years, but seriously for about a year. Most of the time when I go out, the photos are secondary, but I will go out occasionally, like especially if it's around here, like I'll go out and be like, all right, I'm gonna go and take some pictures and I may, I'll take maybe just like 40, but there may be only be like three or four variations, like three or four real different pictures. So it's, once like I find like a framing or a composition that I like, I just figure out how exactly to capture it perfectly. But if I'm going out like in the woods, which is not really in Florida, then it's, I'm gonna take my camera and like I, if I wanted to, I can stop every five feet and take an hour to go 50 feet on a trail or I'll just go hiking and take pictures of like whenever I see that one precious, that one precious moment, I'll be like, all right, I'm, I wanna capture this. When it comes to big productions, that's why I like doing photography because I can do it alone. Where productions, it's like I, occasionally I wanna be like, the person on top, but I always want a creative say, but I don't want to be the person that's like coming up with everything. Yeah, like that's why I like cam hopping. It's I can tell you how to, I can make the comp the composition look nice and pretty, and think of some of my own camera movement to add to it to help the story. But I'm not the one that has to plan out the entire scene. I um, hired him as my cam up um, for a final project because I'm the director of photography, so I knew that he was very capable of doing that. And what reason do you have to hire him as cam up? He's very creative. Yeah, he's very creative. I love like his like for for cam for the job of cam up. He had to like show me his photography, show me his demo reel, and um, I'm very impressed with um, his stuff. I think he's like a better photographer than I am. Even the most talented guys fail at certain points in their lives. And you know what? Look at him. Uh, Brett's absolutely amazing. Um, like, every time I go to do something, I always kind of like sanction off certain projects because I know Brett can handle it because he has prior experience with construction. So I absolutely trust him and his ability to handle those little side projects. And I kind of realize that he likes to do those on his own, so I kind of go, hey Brett, you want to do this? Okay, go. And he always delivers, so. Have you honestly ever felt like, have you felt a bad feeling about it, or do you, do you just stay optimistic? I like to stay optimistic because, like I know, like for me, I'm like tunnel vision. I know what I came here to do, like I know what I'm going to do afterwards, and like I think people need to be like that. Like people need to like work really hard and like show that they're passionate about this industry, otherwise you're not really going to make it. Do you believe Brett has the same amount of passion do you think he'll be able to find something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know that he wants to go out and snowboard in Colorado, um, but I think that like all like the video work that he wants to do, I think that he'll do really well at And he'll just continue to be get better at it too. He likes snowboarding. Tell me a little about that. <laughs> Alright, snowboarding. I, um, I started originally skiing when I was about probably like three years old, my entire life essentially. Then I switched over to snowboarding probably around 11, 12, 13-ish area and couldn't get enough of it since. So I've, right after I graduate, I plan on going out to Colorado, graduating the peak of winter, so. Um, 
I don't believe it's going to be difficult to get a job, especially in this age, in this day of age, when you can create a good web series or something and actually get your name out there and become a little bit more uh, valuable in society, you know, in terms of the media and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is that it also oversaturates the market and it's going to get to that point where some people aren't going to have any talent or any abilities and they're just going to get jobs. And some people do the way that you can't talk to Brett because work on so well. Yes, definitely. Then again, uh, Brett's a very powerful character. And uh, I sometimes feel like, you know, he's already thinking 20 steps ahead of me, so I have to kind of cut him off at some point and be like, okay, I got you, you know. But I do feel like he understands what I'm saying, and, you know, so we can work well together. If people want to pay me for my pictures, <laughs> I'd love to, to keep doing nature photography. Like, I would like to travel for National Geographic. I, that'd be really cool. And then I guess, I guess you could say that's an aspiration of mine is to just, I want to take pictures that I like taking for a living, not for someone else, but I want people to just appreciate and make a living off the pictures that I take. They wanted us to put a picture of the any newspaper with the date on it in one of the shots.